In a gene comprising multiple introns and exons, the process of splicing may yield more than a single mature mRNA, where, for example, different sets of exons are spliced together. At least 75% of genes in higher eukaryotes undergo alternative splicing in which different combinations of exons in a gene are spliced together to produce different mature mRNAs. These alternate splicing reactions introduce an immense source of genetic diversity in the organism. The consensus sequences that define the exon-intron junctions are very simple, GU and AG. Because of their simplicity, these sequences are very common and can be utilised in certain situations. These alternate splice sites are denoted cryptic splice sites. Thus, the spliceosome must not only reliably detect true splice sites, but it must also generally ignore cryptic splice sites. Let's now look in more detail at how spliceosomes distinguish and discriminate between potential splice sites in an mRNA and how cells can regulate alternative splicing. There are at least two potential models for how the spliceosome correctly identifies splice sites in the sea of sequence information. These are called exon definition and intron definition. In mammals, the likely general explanation for how the spliceosome correctly identifies splice sites is through exon definition. According to this model, an exon is defined when the 5' prime and 3' prime ends of an exon are brought together by interactions between the U2 complex and the U1 SNRP. This explanation makes sense in higher eukaryotes, where the exons tend to be shorter and thus simpler to define. By contrast, the alternative model sees introns being defined through interactions between factors bound to sequential 5' prime and 3' prime intron splice sites. An important feature of both models for splice site definition is that the 5' prime and 3' prime splice sites are marked while transcription is still in progress. In other words, it happens trotranscriptionally. These events are facilitated by specific interactions between the unusual C-terminal tail of RNA polymerase and splicing components, including the U1 SNRP. Co-transcriptional splicing allows sequential splice sites to see one another as they emerge from the polymerase, thus minimising the chance that distant exons are mistakenly joined together. Exon definition and the co-transcriptional assembly of the splicing machinery explain how exons can be identified by the spliceosome and join to the next exon in the pre-mRNA transcript. However, the splice site consensus sequences do not provide sufficient information to determine whether a site will be identified as functional by the spliceosome. Other information and interactions are often required to stimulate or preclude their use. Many such non-splice site regulatory sequences and associated factors strongly affect spliceosomal function. RNA elements that positively affect splicing are referred to as enhancers. Such intronic and explonic splicing enhancer sequences typically bind proteins that increase the ability of the spliceosomes to identify nearby splice sites in a pre-mRNA. Intronic and exonic splicing silencer sequences have the opposite effect, often masking splice sites or blocking spliceosome assembly, thus causing exons to be emitted from the mature mRNA.